All right, this is how to fill out your paper census that you're going to get in the mail, United States Census of 2020. It's very important to be a responsible citizen and fill this out because this has a lot to do with, you know, how much money is going to be allocated to certain areas of the country, how many representatives are going to be um, uh, given to a specific state in a specific area, and so forth and so on. And so anyway, um, <laughs> all right, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to tell you you can go online and do it. It's a lot easier. And you go to my2020census.gov. It's so much simpler. But the first question they're going to ask you is, how many people are living or staying in this house? And they have your, your address up here, but I'm not going to show it. And um, just above your address is your barcode and your 12-digit uh, uh, code. Um, anyway, so if it's just one person, it's pretty simple. Then the next question is, were there any additional people staying from April 1st of 2020 and you did not include in question one? So you know, I didn't have anybody, so my answer was no, of course. And is this house an apartment or mobile home? Mine, I own it, so I checked that. And then they're gonna ask for your phone number. And then you gotta flip it over. You gotta be careful because this thing here is a little, the pages kind of stick together. And so the first person, they're gonna go, Please provide the information for each person living here. So, you know, person number one is you. <laughs> so you just put that in there. And then what is person number one sex? And if you're male, female, you gotta check that. What is the age? You gotta put your you know age and all that stuff in there. And is this person Hispanic, blah, blah, blah. If no, you know, you put that in there. But they're gonna also wanna know, like if you're Irish, German, so you need to put that in if you're white. And then it also does it for all the different other categories that you might be. And then over here, it's going to have all the other people that live in your house. And so here's the first one. And basically, they give you, um, to, they're just asking the exact same information almost. And if you have more people living in the house, you got to fill them in. And you're going to see that um, they have, there's person two, then they got person three, then they got person four. And then they got person five, person six. Apparently, they only think that you have six people. But anyway, that's seven, then there's eight, then there's nine, then there's ten. <laughs> and that's it, and you just did it. And once you fill that all out, what you're going to do, once you get it all filled out, don't, do, don't fill that out. That's for official use only. Um, you're going to fold it over like that. And uh, that's my address there. I don't want to show you. Underneath my hand is the address. And uh, uh, you don't want to, uh, <laughs> you don't want to, you know, let everybody know your address. But then they give you this envelope, and if you notice, it says no postage necessary if mailed in the United States. U.S. Census Bureau, it's in Arizona, and you just put this in there, and then you just stick it in your mailbox, and the mailman takes it, and that's it. And that's how you do your census. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff.